Love light greetings, gratitude, blessings and blessings. Beautiful Ascension Star family, my divinity to yours. Welcome to the collective reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And if you have multiple placements in your natal chart, then there is some nuggets in the reading for you. Please do listen now to the other four readings that I have done. Perhaps they are one of your major um, placements. And of course, will be uh, offering some lovely advice to help you navigate the month of September. Also, have two questions that you'd like answers to, perhaps um, something you need to know straight away. The message will come through either a yes or no. So ensure that your questions are relatable for an answer like that. And we will do that later in the reading. Right, so our beautiful Taurus, um, Taurians, they are fixed earth signs, of course. The key words um, for their traits are resourcefulness. Um, they enjoy valuable things, material security, comfort, um, luxurious possessions, um, have a great value for their material side of life, their beauty, very externalized, um, always setting their aims high, wanting to have good jobs, live comfortably, luxuriously. And of course, they do have a lovely side where they share their riches and can be very charitable. And um, clearly this is a sign of abundance, um, fulfillment, satisfaction, and wanting to live that really, really comfy, cushy, happy life. They are aligned with the second house of substance and um, obviously individual value, expression through the rulings of Venus and wanting to have the um, solidification, the assurance, the reassurance of all their needs for survival met. They do have a tendency of feeling they might not have enough and keep wanting to acquire much, much more, providing for themselves and their family and new ways to generate income, businesses, etc., or furthering their uh, ambitions and study in which to promote themselves through life for better income, better earnings. Right, so let's find out from Spirit what blessings come for the collective Taurus this month and let's place this here all right spirit show us four messages give us four messages that our beautiful Taurus can work through the month of September personal growth um, career lifestyle relationships etc thank you thank you thank you right we had a jumper and it was the top one king of wands so clearly highly ambitious motivated encouraged wanting to achieve bigger better brighter wanting to make a substantial um impact a profound positioning for yourself and others wherever it is that you are going or whatever it is that you are doing so you are thinking about completing some kind of massive goal um, that you've been putting off we have the page of cups that slipped out with the king of wands you are incredibly confident this month or need to be confident this month if you've been putting that aside because something wonderful will come your way perhaps somebody identifying your skill or talent or your place your gratification your recognition your appreciation is coming through and of course if um, it's not in the workplace it could be very much 
an unexpected surprise of a message or an offer proposal that could come through that you will have a strong placement with, a strong positioning with, um, or authority or duty. You are going to be put up on a very important role for that kind of aspect. Clearly take what resonates. It could be just being at home and suddenly one of your kids says, you know, mom or dad, you've been working so hard. Here's something for you. It could be as little as that, but make you feel incredibly large and appreciated. Remember, big doesn't mean substantial a wealth in money always or property but it can be a beautiful vehicle a new home but it could be the little things that have a large impact right what else so you are being a key figure this month um, wanting to play a key role seven of cups right also be very conscious of many things that might show up unexpectedly many things that might also be elusive or kind of not clear this month so therefore discernment is your requirement your main ingredient to be able to decipher to um, put on the scale of balancing that which will be applicable or is applicable is um, operable at the time and not get distracted by too many things coming your way and which you should attend to first. So you may be bombarded with a lot of different ideas, inspiration or happenings this month, um, obviously um, in your career, in your personal life or business life, even in your home. You could have many things taking place all at once in this month from all different angles, needing your attention, you being asked to align yourself, discern correctly, and of course, manage your um, to-do list in the sequence that is needed, not that you want to do or somebody might want you to do theirs first, but it's really not necessary to invest upfront in doing something that is only required three weeks later, for example. So it's about time management um, in what you're doing. So it is preparing you for taking control of your life, being in control of your life. And remember, everything that glitters is not necessarily gold. Right, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Another seven. So 77 is important in this month for you. Could be seeing a lot of seven um, or seven sevens. Could be a number seven of September could have seven in um, a lot of the digits in your um, important numbers, your bank account, your identity number, your passport, your vehicle registration or seven sevens come into contact in this month, um, reminding you of the synchronicities and to pay attention to what is important or significant or to be realistic about it. Remember, as Taurians, um, we find ourselves leaning to um, logically, realistically, materialistically, and um, trying to think in, in one box only. Because we earth creatures, right? We want to um, steer away from our spirit, our inner voice, our intuition, we might not give precedence to that or attention to it, but you need to learn that this month for everything that you've done and accumulated with the Seven of Pentacles. All the investments it must have returns, so you're constantly uh, on guard, checking, um, calculating, analysing, all of that, but it, it is time to also understand that you cannot overwork yourself. If you've invested correctly, the returns will come undoubtedly. All right, so how can we connect spiritually this month to find our balance? Meditation, right? Meditation. You're being asked to take time out, to use your discernment, to let go of the distractions and the illusions and 
the unnecessary that we've spoken about, too much going on, um, too often and too long is not healthy for your body, your mind, you need to time out, you need to relax, you need to detach and you've been called to go into meditation to find the answers and at the same time to recuperate, to regenerate and give yourself the opportunity for clarity from the Seven of Cups. Um, lack of clarity or transparency, illusion, confusion, doubt, fear, worry, etc. And where can our Taurans um, go um, to retreat in? Give us a nice power place spirit that will be rewarding for them to find that quiet, solitary um, energy. All right, so we have the Ajanta Caves. Enlightenment is a journey. I show compassion to myself and all living beings. I can be centered within chaos. All my past lives have brought me to the perfect moment of realization and wisdom. And this is Buddha. I'm very much aligned with meditation, inner peace, inner knowing, finding oneself, self-discovery, um, connecting with who you are to be able to reconnect spiritually, to find that um, divine well of wisdom and information and light that can flow to bring a sense of relief and comfort, illumination and lots and lots of wisdom. It is so interesting that you've got the Buddha representation illustration right next to the meditation which talks about time out, taking time for self. Right, and the crystal message that while our beautiful beings are there meditating in solitude can connect with aquamarine, divine life purpose. Now look at that. You have put off your spiritual aspect, some of you, for a long time and need to now go back and revisit or reawaken or step in. Remember yourself as part of the divine community of light, connecting with your life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. This is your ultimate fulfillment. Not so much, I've got to work to make everything happen or everything right. Yes, you must. We understand we live in a material world where material needs are required but it is not your life purpose to be material it is just to have enough to sustain and maintain and of course the investment the true investment is in your divine life purpose all right let us get a animal message a spirit animal message there's a guardian energy coming through The owl, sight, detach your emotions and situations that you cannot control. Again, let go of the real world, the difficulties and the challenges that keep bombarding you or keep plaguing you, whatever you cannot sort out, let it go. Surrender to the Holy One, to the Divine One, that it will work out when it needs to be. No that owls are beautiful creatures, right? Very nocturnal, but it is showing you that you can think out of the box, that you can rise whether there is sunlight or there is starlight, that you have the ability to spread your wings. And of course, as resourceful as you are, allowing you to see and go through the dark night of the soul and to emerge in the daylight from that nocturnal, cave of enlightenment and healing that you need to be able to detach from the material world and go within and use your insight your foresight to be your eyesight by surrendering right like the owl sits in the cave in the cave of a tree, in the hollow of a tree, um, you are going into your cave. 
And when you come out like the hermit, um, the owl bringing the light and the wisdom to the world in a 360 degree view, understanding, knowing, being, it will be an amazing new cycle that you will begin. A message for general love and career um, and life for the month of September, please, Spirit, for Taurians. All right, we have divine timing. But you have two words here that speak divine. You have divine life purpose and divine timing. It's clearly a strong message for you to connect this month. Right, this is the Hermit month. Nine, vibration of completing things, ending things, and of course starting that new chapter, coming out of the cave and being that enlightened one. Be patient for some things take time to manifest fully in your life. Again, stop banging, bashing, um, butting heads, locking horns and trying to do too much. Give yourself the opportunity to go through the light. Let the sands of time fall naturally, uh, beautifully um, and it gives a lot of healing as that process goes on. Trust the process. Embrace uncertainty, have faith in the journey unfolding before you. And your journey is that spiritual journey that is coming into being now, coming into placement now for you to take heed of and um, seek your wisdom and, of course, retrieve from your caves the vibration of light that is needed. 1122, both are master numbers. 11. And 22 high vibrational divine ascended master numbers reminding you to connect to this consciousness of the ascension it is a great shift that you're going through on personal growth spiritual development manifesting goals oneness connection and completion very much what the latter half of the reading has been talking about and focusing on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts you have worked hard then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new what are you going to be trying new getting back with your divine self so many positive shifts are in store for you the world around you is changing in favor of your intentions and with the owl energy that world is your 360 view 360 chapter 360 turn brand new cycle that is coming into your life that you are being prompted to participate in at your divine free will. All right, let's have a message from the Time Oracle. lot so I will take the one that is face down interesting look at that they all seem to give us a four but that's not a four that's um, Jupiter's energy Jupiter's sigil so there's a great expansion coming for you so let's take the four that I picked though number four could be important as well Right, vibration of four is about stability, strength, structure, very much being your emperor out there, earning big, um, strong um, outlook of life and many things involved. Make up a balance and be entirely realistic. And we spoke about this, right? So you need to find the balance in your spirit. You need to be structured in your four walls of your cave going within and finding the diamond in yourself um, and of course uh, being entirely realistic about the things that need to have the attention as well and not things that you think only need attention so it's a big call for you to shift consciousness a little bit right I have not chosen um, or use the deck for um, love and relationships in the previous four readings 
but I feel that I want to do that now. We have two cards, but I will take one. It says, all right, let's do the second one. Spirits, let's take it. It did pop out. Um, if it's two, I'm happy to do that. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Right, so that can include relationships or people that are not positive in your path and are putting too much of emphasis or difficulty or putting you through a challenge and you're having a power struggle, whether it's a mental or emotional one, even a physical or financial one, it is time for you to make the right decisions and know when to say enough is enough. Wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course again, allow the unfolding, allow the surrendering, allow the healing, allow things to work itself out like I have already said. Let go, release, be um, understanding that some things must wait, some things uh, using your intuition and discernment with the seven of cups, not taking everything at once and paying attention to the wrong things. There really is no wrong thing. It, it is just giving attention to things that are inappropriate, timely inappropriate. So make sure that you are using your discernment, your higher understanding and wisdom to attend to the things that are absolutely necessary. All right, so let's return to our questions. I just saw 21, 22 on my clock. So that 22 vibration is very interesting for you. So I would ask you now to think of your first question in your mind and let's flip the coin and see whether we have yes or no, that will get you going or not. All right, the answer is a no for the first one. So do not lose hope, faith or trust. Know that it's just not timely yet to undertake that or to have an answer. Something needs to be working out in the be uh, background, behind the scenes for that to come into effect. If not, what you need to know or have or be or see or feel or think will find its way to you once you go into meditation and meditate on it. Let's do the second question. I see 22 on the clock. The answer is a big yes. Right, so you may go ahead with whatever it is that you asked in your second question. Always use discernment, always do your homework, always ensure you know um, thorough about what your step is, what you want to identify. Do not say the coin said yes, and of course I will do it. Use your knowledge. It's like asking, is it safe to drive? And the coin would say yes. And then somebody goes out there and bangs into a tree and you say, but I thought you said yes. Of course it's yes, it's safe to drive, but you need to know your skills. You need to know the rules of the road. You need to know how to operate the car. You need to know um, when to proceed and when to stop. So you must use your discernment, your intuition, your knowledge and work with life. Do not take a yes to just be an entire yes and then go land yourself into hot water. All right, beautiful ones. I hope in my heart that you've enjoyed the reading and please do share it with other members of the family that have major Taurus placements. If not, then I look forward to hearing your feedback on the reading and how it resonates with you. And with that, I love you. I bless you. I thank you. Till next.